What's up guys? So uh, we're back again today and uh, I'm actually headed to storage right now because I'm gonna pull the diff, the open diff out of the Lexus and I'm going to install the LSD diff that came with the car. Um, I don't know how long I'm gonna run the LSD for but I do know it will work for drifting because it's what I had in the last Lexus. Um, but I'm gonna get the stock one welded and uh, that way I have two diffs that are should be pretty good for drifting. So I'll check in with you guys when I get to the unit. I have the car up in the air. I've actually been here for a little while already. I didn't, uh, I haven't been videotaping because I need to go get some things. I had to buy some new Allen sockets and, uh, yeah, um, my car has a slight bit of surface dress in some spots, and uh, these have been rather painful to get out. I have all of them loose on the passenger side right now. Um, for future reference, if you're going to do this, these are 8 millimeter, and then these ones that go in the subframe are 12 millimeter. So there's three of them here, and then six of the eight millimeter ones on each side of the axle. So I'm gonna go ahead and continue taking these out and keep working. I am under the car right now. I'm probably gonna finish up here for the day because it's starting to get dark outside. There's snow on the ground. It's cold, it's Wisconsin, my hands hurt. Um, but I got all the bolts out except for those two guys there and there and uh yeah got the ones out of the diff got the ones out of here um but for future reference if you're gonna do this in your car without dropping the subframe go in your trunk and cut this out just cut a hole so you can do it from the inside of the trunk um there's like zero room in here I mean, maybe if you use a different technique, I'm using one of these 12 millimeter half inch sockets. Um, it works, but being with the thickness of the ratchet and the socket, if you look how much room there is there, it butts the back of the ratchet all the way up against this uh, spare tire well, which is kind of a pain. So if I were to do this again, I might actually still cut it for when I reinstall them because this is going to be a pain. Um, but I'm probably going to cut this out here. Just just a small square and then I'll put some sealer around it after I'm done and I'll close it back up. But because those are the biggest pain. Um, at some point I'm also going to be changing these. Uh, I probably should have just did the diff when I did that. But uh, yeah, I'm probably going to get like some serial 9 bushings or uh, something like that to replace these stock bushings with because they've seen better days and they've already started to crack and stuff. Um, should be okay for now, but that is going to be getting changed in the near future, hopefully before springtime, but uh, yeah. So on that note, I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. What's up guys? Welcome back. Um, it's a new day. I sold this stock front bumper, so what I gotta do is I gotta pull off the uh, fog lights because I'm keeping those for the new bumper I'm gonna get. And secondly, we need to remove the axles from the Lexus because they were all rusty and they kind of fell apart when I took the diff out. So I'll show you that in a second. I'll show you what happened. And uh, yeah, we're gonna get those axles pulled. If you guys are going to try to remove these fog lights from your bumper, you're going to need a 10 mil and a flathead because there's a clip back here and then there's also two 10 millimeter uh, nuts or bolts right here on the side. So you're just going to remove the bolts. I don't even need the screwdriver. 
Boom, one out. Didn't need it there either. Maybe you don't need the screwdriver. Cool. So uh, now I can box this thing up and ship it out. So as you can see, the diff is out. The problem is the axles fell apart. Those are the little ball, whatever you call them, uh, laying on the ground. And uh, yeah, it sucks. <laughs> basically what happened is this is the part that's not supposed to leave the axle um this end of it was rusted inside there i couldn't get it out and uh after i beat it with a hammer enough this portion this side of the axle just kind of came apart and uh they fell out <sighs> but replacement axles are pretty cheap and i was already planning on doing that anyways so it's not the biggest deal. Um, yeah, it still sucks because now I kind of ruined these axles. But uh, yeah, I mean, I tried for like 30 minutes on each side to pound this part free of the diff and they just would not come out. Um, yeah, like I said, it sucks, but sometimes these things happen, I guess. Um, pulling, the, pulling the axles out should be really, really easy. Um, all you have to do is pull the nut off of each axle in the middle of the hub. Basically just smack it this way and they should pop out. So uh, yeah, let's get to doing that. Realize that I'm working with very limited space here. This is my storage unit and uh, there's not a whole lot of room to work on things. So gotta do what I can. <laughs> Oh, if any of you want to, like, send me an impact, I'll take it. Just saying. All right, so now they're all broken loose. I typically just uh, spin them free by hand. There we go. Let's move this guy. What you have here is you have a cotter pin. You have a castellated spacer, and then you have the nut below it. So basically, you got to take out this uh, this pin, remove this, and then you can access the nut. Um, what I'm going to do is soak these a little bit in uh, PB Blaster, so everything comes apart easier, and hopefully, it doesn't give me tons of problems. <sighs> Soak up, boy. Well, that side is soaking. I'm going to go to the other side and uh, take off the wheel and do the same thing. It's a 32 millimeter nut. I'm going to put it on there. Make sure it's in gear. Well, actually, just kidding. Don't make sure it's in gear because my drive shaft's not even in there. Um, yeah, make sure your e-brake is at least on so you can uh, stop it from spinning when you try to do this but uh yeah loosen her up oh there we go boom baby that's what you want <laughs> another ball just fell out of the the axle See, the surface thrust is a pain. Makes everything 10 times more difficult. But it's coming. Yeah, I put on gloves because my fingers were frozen. These are actually my riding gloves for BMX, but it gets the job done. My hands are nearly as cold now. If you guys are in the north, get you some gloves. 
especially if you don't have a shop with heat or you work outside in your driveway or whatever the case is, gloves make it way better. There we go, boys and girls. It's off. So now, basically, you smack on this, Johnny, and the whole axle should just fall out. Don't smack it directly with a hammer because, especially if you're trying to reuse these because uh, it's gonna mushroom this. And when it mushrooms this, you're gonna have a really hard time getting it out of uh, the splines inside the hub. So grab a piece of wood or something to uh, absorb that, that shock so you don't mushroom this uh, metal here. You've got your piece of wood. It might be easier to use a larger piece than this, but you're gonna stick around there and you're just gonna start smacking away. Oh, look at that. Real easy. Two hits. Out she comes. Yeah, she's out. But uh, <laughs> as you can see, maybe you didn't see it roll across the floor, but the rest of the balls in here fell out when I pulled it out of the car. So this axle is done for it, along with the other one. But replacement axles are only like $80 at the store. Uh, here in Wisconsin, I go to like Advanced Auto. And uh, yeah, not really that expensive. I'm gonna go ahead and do the other side. I'm not gonna videotape that because you already saw me do one side and it's the exact same thing for the other side. So I'm gonna finish up pack up and get out of here because it's cold i'm freezing and yeah even though i have gloves on my hands are still cold but um yeah thank you guys for watching this video uh subscribe if you haven't already and we'll see you in the next one later